Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three simple ways to organize plastic bags. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first simple way to organize plastic bags is to put them in a drawer, but in a neat way. So what you can do is to take your plastic bags, place them on a flat surface, flatten it out a bit, and then turn it around. So at this point, the plastic bag, I guess print, or most of the print is facing down. And what you do next is take both handles and fold them down. Once that's done, you take the bottom of the bag and you fold that up near the edge. Once that's done, you either take the left side of the bag or the right side of the bag and you start folding creating rectangles, which is my favorite shape, by the way. And you can fold it over about four to five times, even six times. And once you get to the other end of the bag, you then take that section and you fold that in, and then you fold both sides together and then you're done. Okay, I know this may seem a bit complicated, but it really isn't. It's really simple. It takes a few seconds. And of course, if you have a lot of bags, what you can do is sit down, watch something and fold. So it's kind of like doing laundry, but for your plastic bags. And once you're done, you can then place them in a drawer. I place mine in this acrylic drawer, which I do use in my bathroom. I do use these plastic bags for trash or to collect trash in my trash bin. And I know it's a bit tacky. Some people are like, why? That's gross, that's tacky, but I do because I have them. And that's really the only thing I can use them for in my home or I'm willing to use them for in my home. Anywho, <laughs> anywho. Um, yeah, so I just literally place them in, I place the folded bags inside the drawer and then I'm done. And whenever I'm ready to use it, I literally just pull out the drawer, take my bag and go. Really easy, really simple. Of course, you don't have to place them in a drawer like this. You can place them in any drawer, but placing them in a drawer just gets them out of the way because they're very stubborn. They're these annoying, plastic, loud things that just kind of accumulate over time and who wants to just, who wants to look at them every day? I don't. So what you can do is just place them in a drawer, of course, in a neatly orderly way. And then now you have a drawer filled with nicely folded plastic bags. <laughs> I know, fancy, right? Fancy. <laughs> the second simple way to organize your plastic bags is to place them in a bag holder. So there are many bag holders out there that actually were created for plastic bags. You can then place them in the bag holder and once they're placed in there, you don't have to worry about it. It's really simple. And you don't even have to neatly place them in there. You literally can just shove them in there and then you're done. So you can buy these bag holders really anywhere. I purchased my bag holder from Bed Bath & Beyond, but of course you can purchase yours anywhere. And yeah, they can be installed anywhere. I've installed mine in the garage because it's just, easier to do that and plus there's nowhere else I would put it. But maybe you can install yours in your kitchen cabinet, maybe on the wall, maybe on a shelf, wherever. I mean, the options are endless. So the third simple way to organize your plastic bags is to not have them at all. The reason why I'm saying this is because I am an advocate for using tote bags, whether you're using them for grocery shopping or for clothes shopping. Tote bags are just better for our environment. As we probably all know, plastic bags are not the best for our, our environment. The goal is to not use them, but for some of us, because I am someone who does sometimes end up carrying out my groceries in plastic bags because I'm in a rush or I just forget, it's easy to do even if my tote bag is in my car. Sometimes you do accumulate a lot, which is why I do end up either folding them or throwing them in a bag holder and using them to collect my trash. <laughs> but for those of you who would rather use tote bags but still have plastic bags in your home, what you can do is actually accumulate all these bags together and send them to a store that actually has recycle bins in their stores solely for plastic bags. Stores like Target, Kroger, even Walmart have these recycle bins and you can literally just send them there and forget them. Some neighborhoods don't even accept plastic bags, which is why I think it's brilliant for these stores to actually have recycle bins to send your bags to. So, so yeah, really easy, right? Really easy. 
So my goal is to help you come back clutter with these bags because a lot of times these bags accumulate and then they become clutter in our homes. And quite frankly, it's just one of those things that we can do without, you know? If we can at least minimize our plastic bag clutter, then we're at least on the right path. <laughs> So let me know in the comment section below if you actually recycle your plastic bags. I am curious to know how many people out there who are actually doing this because I think it's a great step to saving our planet. Let me say that, to saving our planet. So you already know what time it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. Bye.